me is long way Fargo. Yow. I know y'all been asking. I know y'all been wanting to know. Oh Fargo. What that hurricane looking like now in the new year of the deuce in the tray. Well, you know I'm gonna keep it a hundred to it just to quit. I must say, I gotta give props to whatever and whatever, however what's happened and happened. Uh, the whole hurricane staff, you know, Caden, Miss Loretta, you know, shop recruiters, the state of Oklahoma, I guess. Uh, you know, uh, it's not bad. Still trucking. It's not perfect, but they keep your boy moving. You know, uh, I already know what the, what they expect over here. You know, uh, the content gonna be a little bit different uh, than the last time I was here. You know, last time I was here, uh, I didn't know what to expect from Hurricane. I didn't know what Hurricane expected from me. But now I know, so it's pretty much like, I still don't turn down no loads either way I go, team it or not. Uh, still driving 64 mile an hour here at this hurricane, you know. Uh, MPG through the roof. Same thing I'm doing with the 389, you know. But I'll get into some of the reasons why I came back to Hurricane a little bit later. When those things that are spoken of when they come into fruition then I'll, I'll let y'all know then but uh I can't complain man uh a lot of different people in the office my dispatcher my old dispatcher Tracy she's still there you know John's still there Jason's still there you know but uh I think it's just kind of what Miss Loretta said Caden is hiring more people that uh have been dealing with the trucking industry instead of just wanting a job you know what i'm saying when you want a job you know anybody can dispatch anybody can do this you just teach them how to do it but when you love trucking or when you uh are part of trucking then you kind of understand when a driver calls and be like hey i just ain't gonna make it today man i overslept my bag you know uh you know i'm sorry about this sorry about that or whatever you know what i'm saying it is what it is but as of right now at this time you know how far go <laughs> I won't give it to you. Good, bad, and the ugly, and far in between. I ain't gonna lie. So everything is peaches and cream over here. You understand me? But so far, I've been here what two weeks. I ain't went through none of the BS that I did the last time. You know what I'm saying? So only thing that I have an issue with right now is uh, Hurricane doing everything that they say that they' supposed to do. Thirty days in the 389. I talked to old uh, old boy on the yard. He said there was only six available. I wasn't tripping, you know. Uh, people getting out them 389s because they can't live off of 1200 1300 thousand dollars a week, you know. Uh, they just can't do it. But I'm just lucky to be uh, in a situation to where that truck and that type of pay will work for me, you know. So I'm gonna keep y'all updated, man. If if, if, if a fly falls on a sh pile, I'm gonna let you know. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you know, man. You know. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the little update right there, man. I can't complain. You know, uh, they fixed everything that was messed up. To when I put it like this, when I came out of orientation, right? They put me in a truck. It was a uh, 2020. The sister truck of my first 90 day truck when I was here the last time, that orange, blue with the green, it was just flipped on the color spread. So uh, immediately I get into the truck, check it out, open the door, whoa, hit me with something, whoo, amazing, the smell. I said, oh Lord, they had a dog in that thing. So I didn't jump to conclusions, I didn't try to call my dear 9 11. You know, I just went through the proper channels and said, hey, look, it's not going to work. Uh, I need this to get done. So they said, well, look, let's try this. So they bombed the truck to make it smell good. I drove the truck back to the hotel. Uh, told them I wasn't going to load nothing up. 
to the next day, see how it was gonna smell, open the door up again, boom, bombs of Baghdad. I said, okay, they already gave me another bomb. So I set the bomb off on it again, and uh, probably about noon, 11, my phone, my phone started blowing up, Miss Loretta calling, Cody calling, uh, hey, 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 this, this, that, another third. I said, oh, well, I was just about to bring the truck back to the yard. He said, yeah, I need you to bring the truck back to the yard. We got another truck for you. It's coming out of detail right now. I said, it's out, coming out of detail right now, and it's ready to go. It's, it's no smell in there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no, no pets over the road with me, so we good to go. He said, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, it's going to be parked right, by, right there in the middle lane behind the first bay. I said, okay, cool. So we checked it out, looked at it. We good to go. Now here's one thing though, you gotta understand if you ever been in a hurricane or you wanna come over a hurricane, uh, the paint, the lights, the chrome gonna all be on point. Cause that's kinda like the roller motto of hurricane. But this truck's got 303 miles or 319,000 miles on it. And it's a 2021, but it's not the best on the inside. See what I'm saying? And that's not due to hurricane, that's just the driver putting super glue, you know, just, I don't know why drivers put super glue on the dash, got me, you know, it was the speedy balls made for a Velcro, uh, suction cup for the window, you know, for your cell phone or whatever may have you, you know, so, uh, I seen Cody on the yard and I talked to him, he said, hey Thomas, we just put you in this truck just to get you down the road, you know what's going on, 30 days in the 389, I, I sent probably 20, 25 pictures to him, right to his email. Boom, he said, yeah, it definitely is a little rough. I said, well, look, long as the door shut and the AC and the heat blowing, it's going to let me grab a girl, uh, I'm going to be good. And, and the, the next day, me and the wife took out, you know, picked up over there, Arkansas, came down here to Phoenix, drop it off, and, you know, we're about to go get another, you know, so... Can't complain so far. I'm hoping that uh, whatever Caden and the office staff, state of Oklahoma, the shop, all the new people that said Hurricane, uh, I hope they keep doing what they're doing. You know, uh, it goes to show that kind of, you know, when you get put in a situation and you only have one option, you're either going to correct it and stay in business. Or you're gonna be defective and go out of business. So something had to change. You know, uh, it's been eight months, nine months, a little less than a year to uh, I've been here at Hurricane. You know, so it is what it is, man. You know, so uh, somebody backing up in front of me. I don't know why they're backing up right here. Anyway, but yeah, man, you know, uh, keeping our fingers crossed, like I say, uh, I had to get us another chance, man, because that 39 Pride in Class is definitely retirement for me. It's 2023. I'm 40. You know, uh, I'm hoping to get a truck with 200, 400,000 miles on it. It's not going to be a full six year lease, you know, so it's looking at anywhere from four to five years. Uh, I'll be 44, 45. That'll be a good little age to, you know, retire, truck paid off, stay with Hurricane, or do whatever I want to do with the truck. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at the bigger picture. At the end of the day, these new uh, 389s, Xs, and 589, whatever they call, I'm pretty sure they're going to come right here to Hurricane because he gets some new anyway, you know? So. I might have to be longer in this truck too because uh, I'm not taking any any type of 389. You know, I'm just not going to take no uh, knockdown drag out 389. You know, first of all, it's got to be in my color spread. You know, second of all, it depends on how long the lease is. Third of all, it depends on the miles. You know, I don't want a brand new truck. I don't want nothing with a digital dash. I want the analog dash. You know, so. Uh, it's plenty of trucks, 389s, that is, at Hurricane, Fargo can get one. So, uh, it's going to be a long 30 days, but I 
told the wife, I said, hey, look, don't worry about nothing. You ain't got to work right now. Just come out here in the truck with me. Let's see if Hurricane going to do what they say. If Hurricane do what they say they're going to do, then we'll follow suit on what our plan is after we both get to 39. And uh, I'll follow y'all up with that and let y'all know what's going on, man. But like I say, I can't. I can't think of nothing right now, uh, logistically wise, pay wise, that uh, I can say bad about Hurricane. They done me right. They told me I was gonna come back in and go straight on the mileage pay, no guarantee. They done it. You know, uh, put me right on in the truck, get me right on back out, dispatch me 30 days. We gonna see. You know, and like I say, I'm not specking out the color because. It's already pretty much specked out like that, and I don't want a new truck. So I think that's going to be the hardest thing is finding something that uh, is on the yard or finding something that somebody got out of that's not beat up that I can, you know, brush it up a little bit. And, you know, uh, if anything's wrong with the inside of it, you know, uh, full-blown shop right there. So they're going to be able to fix the carpet, the wood floors, whatever. You know, whatever I want to do to it, y'all know how current Hurricane is. You know, you're going to be able to do it to the truck, you know. So, but, uh, yeah, other than that, man, on another note, boy, your boy been in this automatic too long, Lord Jesus. When I tell you, when I tell you your boy rhythm is off like a boy, I, boy, I found myself getting in a situation with traffic. And forget what gear I mean. I'm, I'm hit. I got hit that double clutch on that. <laughs> I can be honest with y'all, Fargo family. I can be honest with you, man. You know, so it's all about getting your, your timing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all that other stuff down. Now they want us to shift in a different way. You know, so it is what it is, man. I ain't gonna uh, just butter up Hurricane because no trucking company, no person is perfect. You know, but I came to Hurricane. The first time for the 389. I came back to Hurricane for the second time for the 389. But now me knowing how Hurricane operates and what they gonna do and how they gonna do, I knew exactly when I left that yard in OKC I was going west. I know exactly when I leave this west side over here, anything west of Texas, I mean OKC, uh, is going back to the east. So you know, it's it's all good. You know uh, the routes. Fuel, like still fuel anywhere. Use my own fuel car, using the mud flap. But like I said on my last videos, man, and I, and I, and I talked to some people, you know, in the office. Uh, big shout out to you, Stephen. You know, uh, he told me that you know a lot of these drivers in these 389s, they want to go. I ain't gonna say just in the 389s, the 567s, and the 579s. They want to go out and reinvent the whole wheel type of situation. I'm not going to get into no knockout, drag out type of situation. I'm not going to tell you to buy your own fuel or not buy your own fuel. I'm not going to tell you what speed to drive or not what speed to drive. But per me, Fargo is, I don't like to go against the grain unless I feel like something's wrong with the grain. You know, so if we both running in the right lane. I'm not going to just jump in the, in, the, in the left hammer lane for what? It don't make no sense to do that. So uh, I'm staying in the fuel network uh, I'm, I'm right now. I get this 39, I'm, I'm fueling at the Loves, you know, I'm running 64 mile an hour, you know, uh, still able to hit 600 miles, I think I've done 613 or 620 uh, at 64 mile an hour now, give or take that I gotta sit in this truck, I gotta keep this door shut, because uh, at the end of the day, man, all this stopping and starting when you're running slow like me, and like I told Stephen, I wanna be the slowest 389 in the company, because I wanna set a principle to where if a stretch can get an MPG of 6.8, a 389 regular wheelbase should be able to get a 7 MPG. You know, so I've got goals and plans that I want to accomplish. Not for Hurricane now. This is just personal for, for Fargo, you know, personal for me. You know, uh, 
I started off at Stevens Transportation 2002, 2003, whatever may have you, and I was running 55, 58 miles an hour. I didn't, that truck never really got over 60 unless we were just going downhill, you know, rolling or something like that, you know, so, uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, it's not bad, it's not bad, I'm not going to boast and, and brag them up. And then they hit me with a molly wobble. But I think the only thing that Hurricane... And if y'all don't seen the last of my videos, you know, I never really got into anything negative about Hurricane. I just said that I didn't understand why I was doing all these drops. I didn't understand why I was asked to be done this. Why I was asked to be done this. Well, now they've made a whole new list of rules and regulations to set to say to where, hey, look, you got to run. If we see that your truck ain't moving and you still got three, four hours on your time, and we see you in the truck stop two hours, then that load finna get taken from you. So you pretty much finna snuff yourself out because you're not doing what you're supposed to do, i.e. seven drops, I mean seven uh, uh, switch trailers in one day. Dude sitting in the, in the field out for two hours, and then you know what I'm saying? And he's sitting on his time and sitting on his hours and stuff like that there, you know what I'm saying? So... I was in the right place. Now, this is nothing taken up a hurricane. Y'all know I am. I, I can get straight wicked with you. You know what I'm saying? I was in the right spot at the right times when hurricane needed me. And I look at it now and I ask myself that I'm back. Was it really that bad? Was I, was I really asked to do something that uh, I would do now? Or I wouldn't do at another company? Yeah, I think it was legitimate. I think that a lot of the drivers that I repowered with, playing around, doing all this other felonious, eating bologna sandwiches in the truck stop, saying how fast they going and telling truck stop tales. Y'all know how drivers do, man. But hey, you know, uh, the new rules, and I'm not going to speak about the rules and regulations about this situation of Hurricane because you won't know it until you come over and start driving for Hurricane because it's not posted on the website. It's just a uh, kind of like a, a reminder of like, hey, look, we had other drivers doing this. So they messed up this for everybody else. And now we have to set this rule so everybody else had to follow this rule. You know, so it's still not a bad situation, man. You know, like I said, I'm going to work through it. And, uh, hey, like I told my wife, 389 in 30 days, if I ain't got it and it ain't the color, Hey, I'm going to keep looking to see what it is if something comes uh, comes open. I don't want a new truck, 389 with the digital dash. That's out of the question. Uh, you know, right now, the mileage pay is good. You know, uh, I can't trip on the mileage pay. I couldn't get off the mileage pay the last time because I had to do 90 days to get off that mileage pay. So now I'm on the mileage pay, you know, I'm actually seeing that whole big number uh, that I was seeing. But when I was on that 2K guarantee, now when that dispatch come through, I see that whole big number. So I'm like, okay, okay, cool, cool. So, you know, I put my fuel with this, put some discounts with this. Uh, it's not going to be bad, but then you look at the fuel discounts that I get using my own fuel card versus staying in network with hurricane it's probably about a five to ten cent difference if you add it up on seven days of a week's how you run in depending on where you're at with the uh the fuel and everything man you know so but yeah man y'all stay posted you know what i'm saying stay non-lactose intolerant out here man pray for your boy and uh you know at the end of the day it's 39 grind time. We out here rolling a reefer. I'm talking about blowing a reefer. I ain't gonna be in that left lane blowing those, but I'll be somewhere untold. You understand me? So, uh, y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy Longway Fargo, man. Uh, we back at this cane. You know what I'm saying? My hurricane, everybody's hurricane. You know, back to them old sand. You know, ride clean, see no clean, Peter Belt leather. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. It's coming. It's time. I'm 40, so uh, if they do what they supposed to do, then I won't leave Hurricane. I'll, I'll be right here until I can't truck no more, until DOT from CSA put me out of out of my character and say, hey, I just can't get this, I just can't do that, until I can't see no more to my back. 
and the neck and back Kaya hit. I, I just can't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna take it for what it is, man. But uh, like I said, man, y'all say like, comment, subscribe, and go along with Fargo. Yeah.